Hi guys. So in a quiz that I've posted recently on Instagram, I asked the question, what would you do if you had an engine failure on the approach, you're at 1,000 feet, you're fully configured, the weather condition is calm, cab okay, long, runway, dry conditions, will you continue the approach or will you go around? Let's take a look at the quiz and some of the answers from the poll. Master caution, I think we have engine flame out, engine number one. Flame out, engine number one, okay. Uh, I'm looking quite good, right? Yes. You want to continue? No yes. mem writers, nothing? Perfect. All right. Is there a correct answer to this? The answer is no. The answer is you're going to make the decision as a commander based on the safest course of action. So let's have a look at what you'd be basing your decision on. Unless your operations manual says specifically that you must go around in this condition, then the flight crew training manual states that a decision should be made immediately. Remember, immediately, there are very few times that you have to rush a decision and act absolutely straight away. The startle factor is going to kick in and probably the closest answer is going to be more prompt than immediately. So what is going to trigger your awareness of the engine malfunction? Master caution in front of you. And what does it say? A lek. Pilot monitoring has a look, sees a lek, looks on the overhead panel and thinks that there's a generator failure. Pilot flying now trying to control the aircraft uh, with the rudder aware that there's some kind of loss of thrust and sees the engine fail illumination on the EGT and states that there's an engine failure. So this all takes time. So the chance of an immediate decision is probably quite remote. Now a decision has to be made. Continue or go around. If there's sufficient thrust, then increase the thrust. And if you're happy that the aircraft is under control, then continue the approach. If in doubt, get out, make a go around. So the next question is, are you going to continue with the current configuration or are you going to retract to flaps 15? The flight crew training manual says that if thrust is insufficient, then retract to flaps 15. It's unlikely that the thrust will be insufficient. There are some extreme conditions where this could be the case but for most of the cases, you probably find that a small increase in thrust will control the aircraft and you'll be able to continue the approach. So if you want to retract to flaps 15, let's look at some of the threats and considerations that you might have to deal with. Let's have a look at the next clip, which will show what happens. Four hundred approaching minimums. Three hundred minimums. Too low terrain. Too low terrain. So if we've decided to land flaps 15, 
there are a number of things that we need to consider, a number of threats. Firstly, we need to increase the speed. The flight crew training manual says for the 800 and 900 series to bug up by 20 knots. Remember that the VREF plus 20 speed is the white commanded bug. You need to increase the thrust. A good ballpark figure here is about 15%. What else do you have to consider? Well, have you calculated the performance for landing flaps 15 single engine? So what else do you have to consider? That's right, flap inhibit. But there's one thing as well that you may not have considered. Let's say you're on an ILS approach and you've already got glide slope capture. What will happen to your flight director? on the side of the failed engine. Let's take a look. So you can see there's a lot to consider in a short period of time to make an immediate decision with the startle factor coming in as well. And having prepared, having thought this in advance, it's much more likely that you'll be able to make a prompt or even close to immediate decision and make a safe course of action and deal with this in a calm and considered manner. We're also going to have a look at if we decided to go around in the next video. So thank you for watching and remember for pictures worth a thousand words, how much is a video worth?